do us all a favor and retreat to the very cave you crawled out of. Also, how could your pronouns be he, he, they? You understand the he only appears once. You don't even know how your own pronouns work. But I'm not surprised. I wouldn't expect you to. And that scream? <laughs> You do understand that there are people that get placed into a guillotine before being decapitated that make less noise than you. Also, your barber should be put on trial for crimes against humanity. Today I thought that I would take a break from watching all of these cringy TikToks and instead watch some insane TikToks with crazy opinions and just crazy people. Let's shoot for 5,000 likes on this video and please subscribe while you're down there. We're trying to hit 400k where I will be doing my face reveal and let's get into the video. So, I'm not allowed to be out as trans non-binary at school. Right, but when you show up looking like this, people are gonna make the correct inference. Like, you have multicolored dyed hair, pride glasses on, and multiple piercings. I don't think anybody expects you to be straight. Do not come- Alright, alright, step back, step back. No need to get in my face. I'm up in my comments saying that I am allowed because I'm not. I live in Louisiana and it sucks here. So, of course, my response to this is to be as obnoxiously- Queer as possible. So I've got my rainbow hair with leopard print. I've got my rainbow glasses. Sometimes I wear pins too with various rainbow things on them. I don't have any today. I just have my COVID sticker. Okay, so isn't that just more effective than being quote-unquote out? Now, don't get me wrong, I feel like if you were to come out and just say, Hey guys, what's up? I'm gay. Like, okay, <laughs> that'd be pretty effective in getting your message across. But I feel like that's a lot of work. You have to round up as many people as you can, get them in the same room, get a microphone, just so you can announce to them, Hey guys, I'm gay. Whereas what you're doing now, where you just kind of walk around like a bath bomb, like, people kind of know that something's up, you know, you might be a little fruity. I wear things that do not match at all. Basically, my goal is to look like a unicorn threw me up. If I can't do that, what's the point? Friendly fire, friendly fire. Don't be going after your own people like that, okay? Not everybody in the LGBTQ community thinks that looking like a unicorn just puked you out is good fashion. And like, you said it, not me, okay? You said, I want to look like a unicorn just threw me up. I would just say, like, have some more self-respect. But the best part about all of this is that all of my coworkers are like, oh my gosh, you're so hip and you're so cool and the kids love you. I'm like, no, I'm not hip or cool. I'm just queer as hell and y'all are boring. Okay, you kind of lost me there. So let me get this straight. Somebody complimented your style, which to be honest, somewhat shocks me. Like for example, someone's like, hey, I like your hair. It looks so cool. And you're like, well, no, it's not cool. I'm just like really gay. It's like, what? Hip or cool. I'm just queer as hell and y'all are boring. She literally says, I'm not cool. I'm just gay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's sick and twisted that I have to work just to survive, just to live my life for basic ass necessities. I mean, I don't think that's sick and twisted at all. Do you expect to get free food, free everything for just sitting around and doing nothing, contributing nothing to society? Yes, you have to work to provide for yourself. How is that shocking? How is that sick and twisted? You know what would be sick and twisted? If I stripped naked and walked into the middle of my town and started doing the worm. Like, I don't wanna work until the day I die just to eat shit and sleep. Basic human necessities, it shouldn't be controversial. Bro, life is competition. Either you're gonna put in the work, you're gonna grind your way to the top and make as much money as you can, or you're gonna sit here on TikTok and fantasize about a world where every single homeless drug addict instantly gets a nice house. The system is far from perfect, but if you put in the work, you can definitely get somewhere, okay? Free housing, free healthcare shouldn't be a goddamn pipe dream. And I know a lot of people are gonna be like, oh, you should be doing this or that. No. Like, what if I don't want to be rich? What if I want to achieve shit? Then you're a bum. You perfectly described the lifestyle of being a bum. Somebody who doesn't want to get money, who doesn't want to work, who doesn't want to do anything. You literally described a day in the life of a Redditor. Wake up at noon, upvote some posts, get some karma, maybe expose yourself to some children on Omegle, and then go to sleep, dude. You don't want to be super rich. That's totally fine. But at the same time, like, you still gotta work, bro. I still have to work till the day I just to live 
just to survive? What do you want me to say here? Like, yes, you have to work in order to get money in order to survive. Like, yeah, that's kind of how the whole thing goes. I genuinely do not comprehend this guy's perspective. Like, how would that even work? Nobody does anything ever, but everybody is getting paid somehow and everybody is like living great. It, that just wouldn't make sense. The whole world would collapse. People give up their entire lives just to retire at the ripe age of 60 whatever. For what? To get paid dirt even then? People destroy their bodies physically and mentally just to feed into a capitalistic system that does not give a shit about you. Correct, you're not special. The world does not care about you. The world does not care about me either. You know who cares about you the most? You. You know who cares about me the most? Me. So I'm gonna look out for myself. I'm gonna make as much money for myself as possible. So eventually someday I can raise a family and have kids. But yeah, it's true. The system does not quote unquote care about you. It shouldn't care about you. But that guy looks young, dude. Like you have plenty of time to acquire wealth and make money. Like you can set yourself up for a pretty bright future. I mean, that's kind of what I'm doing with this channel, right? Like, I'm 19 years old. Hopefully by the age of, like, 23 or 24, I'll have a lot of money to sit on. But I don't know, bro. It seems like you're kind of just giving up from the start. We shouldn't be doing that. We shouldn't be quitting. Get your head in the game, bro. Let's get this bread. God didn't make me the smartest angel, but I know that it needs to change. And I don't want to be told that I'm ungrateful, that I should be happy to have a job where it's taking up 40 hours of my week you know i want to spend time with my family i want to do shit that is fulfilling to me but all that shit requires so much privilege it requires so much wealth okay bro let's finish it up here because the coping is getting to a point where i can no longer take you seriously like now you're just getting to the point where it's like oh working is hard like yeah working is hard oh i work for a while yeah you work 40 hours a week that's like the standard work week and now you're saying oh i have no time to spend with my family bro you spend probably like 10 to 15 minutes total on this tiktok thinking of what to say recording it posting it sharing it around like bro you have time to spend with your family and it's just f messed up like f universal health care like universal like basic income or whatever like it, it it needs to happen now like these f got us to the moon like y'all can f***ing figure this shit out <laughs> but you know the rich just the rich just wants to get richer they just want to keep exploiting marginalized people what are you even talking about at this point? Like, it went from you want to spend time with your family and you don't want to work, and now you're complaining about the rich people that do work and make money, that they still want to continue to make money? Like, obviously, what are you saying? I agree that there's plenty of rich people that have done some messed up stuff in order to get where they're at. Like, yeah, obviously. But that has nothing to do with you not wanting to work, you know? We're gonna skip that one and move on to some fresh new brain rot. I need to pee, but 300 anti-LGBTQ bills make me feel uncomfortable just being myself? Brother. This dude's trying to enter the woman's restroom, bro. I can't deal with this anymore. At least try to play the part, G. Like, okay. You're not a woman, and it looks like you're probably 50 years old. At this point, you're not becoming one. But if you so desperately want to use the women's restroom for whatever reason, which I can't really know what reason that could be, maybe it smells better in there, I don't know, it probably does. But at least try to look the part, throw on a wig or something, dude. You're bald, okay? So I guess I'll just sit here and hold it in. Damn right. Damn right you're holding it in, buddy. Although you do have one other option, and it's the men's restroom where you belong. As transgender people, it's what we do. America isn't really free, is it? Oh, what's that? I can't break societal rules and or laws? Well, America, it really isn't free, is it? Bro, I can't shoplift? Well, I mean, so much for freedom. I thought America was the land of the free. Why do I have to pay for stuff? Like, like paying for stuff is oppression and a restriction on my freedoms. I used to look like you, but just like a mess. Nah, that's not me. Nah, that's not me. What happened? Yeah, facts, bro. I don't know either. We're on the same page, bro. I don't know what happened. She actually looked pretty good looking, and now 
she doesn't, so that's unfortunate. Why even do that? Like, that's entirely your choice. It's not like you, you know, became fat because of, like, a medical issue or anything. You entirely chose to stop looking attractive. And I guess the rebuttal here would be like, oh, dude, it's fine. She's just trying to express herself. And, like, I got it, right? But you understand there are, like, bad ways to express yourself. Or at least some ways of expressing yourself are better than others. Like, we can all agree on that at the very least, right? I woke up this morning at 3 a.m in an absolute panic attack because of a job where I misgender daily. That's tough! But on a real note, if you're having panic attacks at 3 a.m. to the point where you can't sleep because you're being misgendered at your job, see a psychiatrist, get some, like, meds for that. I can't help you on the being misgendered part, but, uh, panic attacks, you're gonna want to deal with those, so get on some anti-panic attack meds. I feel undertrained. And, um, more people see chest meat is my gender every day, even though I literally have a mask that says my pronouns, he, him. Bro, okay, like, don't take it that personally. I know it is gonna be hard to not take it personally because it's like, oh, I am he, him, that is me as a person, but still. They're doing it because you look like a woman and instinctively they're going to use she, her because that's what they use and what everybody has used their whole lives. Allocating brain power during a work shift into deprogramming literally, like, their whole life of distinguishing men and women by pronouns is a big ask. Whether or not you think it is or isn't, it is a big ask for most people. So yeah, your panic attacks, like, that sucks, but still, like, Dude, like, you can't blame them for it. They're not trying to hit you with a she-her jump scare, okay? I, I, I promise you. What's the, what's the, what's the difference? Yeah. You guys remember Fuzz99, right? Remember the TikToker that was like, I'm glad you asked. Well, this looks like a TikToker from, uh, yeah, it's, it's him, yeah, him. Boy versus Danny Boy. Hey. <laughs> People who identify as paragender feel as though their gender is made up of a dominant gender and a minor gender or genders. And people who identify as paraboy feel as though their dominant gender is male. I have to seriously cleanse my brain from this westernized brain rot. They are coming up with genders for every different phase of the moon. Are you a half boy? Are you a quarter boy? Are you a crescent boy? Are you a wazing waxing boy? Dude, stop it. Pick up a math textbook. Honestly, you know what? No, don't even pick up a math textbook. Just put down whatever this is, okay? Please. There are two genders. The entire Spanish language recognizes this, but for some reason, we're sitting here trying to invent new ones every single day. Well, their minor gender could be any gender and genders, but their dominant is male. Versus people who identify as Demi boy who feel as though part of their gender is male and the other part could be any or multiple genders. The only difference between paraboy and Demi boy is people who identify as paraboy know that their dominant gender is male. And the one thing that both of these genders have in common is that they are not real. They're imaginary. You made them up or somebody else made them up and you're spewing them. While people who identify as Demi Boy feel as though they're just- Side note, by the way, why are you just hanging out of the window like this? Yelling out to the whole neighborhood about Paraboy and Demi Boy. Gender is partly male. People who identify as Demi Boy may feel that part of their gender is male, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it is the dominant gender. Versus people who are Paraboy who know that their dominant gender is male. This may not make sense, but this is in the back of my mind when I'm close to failing a set. I'll be on the ninth rep of 30 pound incline dumbbell curls and my muscles want to kill themselves. But in the back of my mind, I remember if I don't complete this last rep, that I'll have more in common with these sorts of people than not. Like, do you think that this person right here talking about demi gender or whatever paraboy, do you think they're going till the 10th rep? Do you think they're going till failure? I don't think so. Not every paraboy and demi boy are the same as other paraboys and demi boys. But they're both delusional, so they have that in common. Maybe they'll get along. And they may identify as any way that they want to identify. But we love all our 
Mario boy or Demi boy. <laughs> hey, you know, you do you. You can do whatever you want. I personally, I like women. But, you know, that's just me. Maybe I'm just too old school. I don't know. I mean, perhaps, perhaps. But with that all being said, I hope you guys ended up enjoying this video. If you have, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Comment down Freezer if you made it to the end of the video. Follow my social medias. Links are all down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.